So welcome, uh, and an update with um, Big Vern, my van conversion. Now uh, things have progressed quite a lot actually, and I think this is probably the penultimate one of these um, jobbies I'll do, because we're getting to the point where we're just sort of finishing off and more cosmetic than anything. I'm going to show you what I've done, a few little um, sort of bits and bobs that have been I found quite useful. You can see where we are, and then uh, probably one, we'll run one more after this. I might show uh, show you one uh, when our first outing, or mine might not, of course, if it's gone terribly wrong as the potential. Who knows? But anyway, let me show you what we've done so far. So one little thing I've done. I don't know how clear it is on here. I can't get down and show you. I've put in a little shelf here underneath, which is really useful. Just put in the um, uh, table thing that we use outside the when, in, in, when we're outside. So I put that in there. Um, that's good, the electrics are all finished. I think I, I showed you those. Oh, actually I didn't. So I've run some more electrics here, which I'll show you when I get inside, which is the bedside light. I've got those corks on there. Not as a homage to the amount of wine that we consume, although quite reasonable, um, but because there was a couple of loose screws there. There's some more screws here underneath here yeah. and I put that piece of wood across there A to protect him and B I just thought it's quite useful for an extra bit of support and stuff like that. So that's the same both sides when I go I'll get inside I'll show you the uh, bedside lights. Um, so the electrics is finished. Um, I'll talk to that when I say when I get in there but uh, that's it. the other thing we've done we're only doing it today I'm sure I'll put it on centrally but we've got a little curtain at the back there at the top you can see to close that gap on. The storage space under here we can get. So that piece of wood I've got across there, that's it's a such thing as indoor storage, but you know, up until that bit we'll have the boxes where we have our clothes and that, and that'll stop them sliding off. All this space this side is just for whatever. So uh, I'm gonna put the stuff in it now so you can see how it works. Well, that's difficult to work out how it works, but I'm gonna put it in. Uh, hang on. Prop the phone up. Oh, bloody hell. I wanted to show you this massive thing here is my uh, awning. That there. There's plenty of room there. Uh, and obviously, still more. I know that wasn't the most exciting video you've ever seen. Plenty of space. Yeah. So I said, I said about the loo. Now there's the loo there. Let me try and show you where it fits. It's a bit difficult to lift it. Hang on. So the loo, you can see that against the door, sits there. Um, and I've got a bit of wood here that I literally just slide in like that. So when we're driving, ah, it's in. It will hold it, stop it coming out. I've also done the same here. I'm, I'm gonna I'm probably setting a record for the worst videoing ever here. But I'll, under the bed, under the bed here, I've I've got. You can see that bit of dowel. I made a hole and I made some slidey bits that come down like that and the point of them is that when we're driving along and um, we put them down and it stops our storage boxes from flying out so i bought this fantastically big storage box uh 84 liters so that goes that goes in there the arm comes down put that back in the hole for storage and it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Same one here. I would imagine the way the world is, my wife will have that massive storage box and I'll end up with some more. And that goes in there. Somewhere else. Oh, there it is. Some wood. Actually, having trouble. Oh my goodness. Well, I've cocked that up. The truth is, you have to do the loo one 
before you do the other one. And that's it. I acknowledge that's the worst bit of filming there's ever been, but hopefully you get the hang of it. That's that. That box on there, incidentally, is the next trick, which I'm actually going to do in a minute. Carpet tiles for the floor, obviously. Um, up here, let's have a look at the sink. We finished. So I put where I crossed, as I said I was going to, across the top there, I put a piece of wood. It's that, um, I don't know what you call it, that treated wood. Purposely use that. It's a bit sort of darker and a bit messy or something. I thought with all this pine it was a little bit um, crisp and clean. So I put that in. I put a little shelf on it. Rounded the corners off. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. So that's that's the shelf. We just put odds and sods when we're um, when we get to, to our camp. Um, the shelf, this bit here, I've shown you, which is finished. One little innovation I've got is I've put a hole in there. What's that for? You say? So putting that stick down. So that isn't that isn't fixed at the bottom at the moment. But it will go in the carpets down, and that will go in there when we're travelling to stop the shells flying out. You can see my water um, thingies have arrived. I have tested them. I'll give you a little demo. I'm living the dream. If your dream is a bit of cold water in a van. Uh, so that's there. And that's about it, really. And we're going to up here. That's, that's, our, that's our waste bin. It's an IKEA special, which is perfect. That actually fits there. I'm whilst in the process of making a curtain for there. I may or may not put a shelf in because we seem to have got a lot of wasted space there. So possibly at some point I'll put a shelf in there or something. Let's we'll see how we get on. That's what I'm doing at the moment. But um, yeah, it's done. We've done a few other bits. My wife made that contraption out of an old jean pockets. Well, not jeans, a pair of old jeans for just putting stuff in. And I made this little, um, little shapey thing. And she's sort of got hanging bar there for other bits. Oh, and there's my lights up there. You can't. I meant to show you though, so they are bedside lights, really good actually. Um, I got them off eBay, and I mean, I genuinely think they look aesthetically quite nice, and they're just got some great light. I mean, so when we're in bed, that's fine. Um, next to my bed side, uh, there's a little information you didn't want, which side of the bed I sleep on, is um, a uh, double USB behind the uh, right hand port there and the voltmeter thing which I think is going to annoy me because it shines on, so that might not last long. And on the other side is also double USB, and there's a um, sort of cigarette lighter type one. Final one is one you can't see at the moment. Behind here is a cigarette lighter thingy because I'm going to run a wire out along here, and my fridge will go there. Um, yeah, I just mentioned the fridge. The fridge will go there. I have ordered the fridge. This um, is a um, massive purchase for me it was we've ordered i'll show you when it gets this one of these well domitech that was waco it's the cr cfx cool c something x i don't know i can't remember um 35 model um and it's a um um it's like basically a posh cool box but very very expensive here in the uk pretty much everywhere i've seen they're 599 pounds which i know is extortionate you can get a fridge size this van it for the home at that price but the beauty of them is that it's very low power consumption so it says it's 0 0.6 amps per hour so um i spoke to a bloke and he said well it's 0.6 it's a bit like when you buy a car the, you know the petrol consumption they go oh, it does 50 miles per gallon but the reality is it's 40. when he said although it says 0 0.6 with a fridge you're using it a lot in and out in and out so reality you can double it so if it's 1.2 amps an hour that's 24 amp hours in a day, plus the 0.2, so it's sort of 30 amps a day. Well, my um, battery charging thing on top of my solar panel, I'm told should feed in 40 amps on a decent day to the uh, to the battery. So I'm, it's 30 going out to the fridge. The, this, the rest of this lighting is using almost nothing. 30 out to the fridge, 40 coming in. So so it should should work perfectly all the time um, on the on the. 12 volt system if it doesn't i'm going to be gutted but so I've done, so we've had this major investment because hopefully it should last and it should last us a lifetime um particularly at our age so um yeah so when that comes i'll let you know how I get on so that's the one thing that's going to send me over budget you know i was when i did all this i said it's going to take me 12 months and, and in my mind i had a price 
Um, well, other than the fridge, I think I'm going to be below price, and I've kept a price record of everything because I'm anal. Um, yeah, so I'll let you know that in the last one. But other than the fridge, I mean, I could have got cool box, and you know, but then you think, well, treat yourself, Andrew. Um, yeah, that's it. The other thing is I was going to show you as well. I put on this piece of wood across the end of the bed here. Sort of didn't need to. I just thought aesthetically it finishes it off. It's going to be a curtain below it across here to hide all this. Um, but I thought it finishes off. And the other thing is, but when the mattress is on there, um, it will stop it. You know, should I break very hard, it'll stop it flying off. Not that I would imagine it would, but you know. Um, so I just, I just thought aesthetically it's not held on that securely quite honestly but it does all it needs to yeah so the next job's the carpeting and uh i'll show you that one finished it oh no hang on doors yes yes doors i've got to show you the door i said all the wrong through if you've watched these videos from the start i've waffled on well I've waffled on actually that's what i do but i've waffled on a lot about didn't know what to do about the um about the doors about the door and how to sort of make it look pretty and i think i said my wife was doing a bit of a patchwork job and she's finished it so I'm going to show you hang on there you go wow I'm not gonna lie it looks good well I think it looks good looks really nice she got all this just got bits of a few bits of those um, material that she had lying around she got some out of a charity shop and she's made them now the bottom one is on a board I think I talked about that before where um, it's screwed on there and um, the top one is more difficult because there's nothing really to screw it into except one at the top there at the moment I'm not gonna lie it's a bit precarious we got some double-sided um, Velcro, um, but other than that one screw um, that's holding up, I don't think the Velcro would hold it. It's a bit, um, whatever. So I'm um, gonna have to think of exactly how to hold it up there, but it certainly looks good. And um, yeah, so she's done that. Excellent.